Welcome to Durban, South Africa, but more specifically, 8 Morrison Street. This is the lovely Anna Savage, the brainchild of iHeart Market. Anna, you've amplified that concept. What do we have here? What we have here is the morning trade, which is basically a weekly food market happening every Sunday from 8 o'clock until 2 p.m. Basically changing the way Durban Durbanites do their weekly grocery shopping. They come to one area, get free range meats, organic veggies, buy fresh coffee along the way, cakes for Sunday tea. People who run local rural uh, garden initiatives, vegetables. which, yeah, all over KZN, they bring in the vegetables for, from the rural communities and sell them for them. There's a broad range of different kinds of people, but all based on local produce. This is the famous Margaret Vassal stand. Vivian, tell me about how the morning's been for you. It's been absolutely insane. We completely sold out. We left with a couple of our flavors here, but our table was absolutely full with deliciousness. Jonathan, hi. Thanks for talking to me. What is the idea between Aid Morrison? Uh, so really, it's a starting point of reactivating Durban CBD. Um, so we've got a weekly market called the Morning Trade that happens every Sunday from 8 till 2. Then after the market we program events like musical performances and art exhibitions. And then this side currently is being used for an exhibition called Durbanism, which is centered around architecture, art and urbanism in Durban. People are now starting to re-engage with the city center. So this is very much a catalyst for that. This is where we are right now. Is this a permanent installation? This is permanent, so it'll evolve. We're going to have retail and office space inside shipping containers on this side. So that'll house 36 different small businesses. Um, and then, as I said, our other developments on Pixby Kasama will kind of come together to developing a new community in the city centre. Angela, who's exhibiting here? It's almost exclusively Durban-based artists or KZN-based artists. Um, the thinking being that we've got such incredible talent here and we managed to breed the most incredible talent. Our artists need a creative economy where they can thrive, survive and actually remain in Durban rather than always leaving us. Across the road is the Rivertown Beer Hall. It was an old regime watering hole but now it's been revamped and has become this cultural hub that Durban has been looking for. Come, let's go take a look. <laughs> 